Hello, in this video we're going to have a look at how to handle a basic RPG stats system as well as how to equip items uh, using our inventory. So the inventory was already created in one of the previous uh, posts that we've done and this is actually going to be a part one of two um, on equipping these items and getting updates to our stat system. So in the next one we're going to be looking at how to integrate that uh, with Unreal Engine and so we're going to use Unreal Engine as a client in order to um, you know basically fetch those changes and display them on the player's screen. So in this one we're going to be focusing a little bit onto the back end as well as like looking at the structure of data that we're going to be passing to the server and seeing how it actually works together. So yeah let's get started. And the link to the project uh, on GitHub is available in the description so do check that out if you're interested uh, including this repository and following along as well. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is introduce uh, the first model. So this is going to be a, a stats model and this model will essentially be a property that's associated to all of our actors. So our actors are basically your players, your mobs and anything that, you know, uh, will be essentially interacting with or, you, you know, have combat with or something like that. So I try to balance this between simplicity and extensibility. So there are many ways of implementing a stat system, and this is by no means, uh, you know, the best one. I don't believe that there's actually a silver bullet which, you know, basically will work on every single approach. Uh, but I do think that this was a, a nice balance that it's not too simple. Uh, you can create some nice features with it. Uh, there's probably going to be better ways of doing this, but this is quite quick to implement. So. Uh, let's have a look at uh, what I mean by that. So for instance, at the beginning, I'm going to have a map of string to integers uh, to uh, represent our base stats. So our base stats can be things like strength, dexterity, intelligence, and things like that, right? So your base stats could be used for uh, equipping items and things like that. So for instance, your items could have a strength requirement, dexterity requirements, etc. Uh, and that's how we'll um, determine whether your character can equip those items. Derived stats are going to be a little bit more complex. So uh, this is going to be things like max HP. Uh, this is actually evaluated based on your base stats and other things like status, uh, status effects or item effects. So for instance, you can have um, certain items which increase your max health uh, and things like that. In terms of um, a full list of derived stats, um, what I'm going to support are... Uh, So things like max HP, uh, current HP, physical amplification, defense, magic defense, attack speed, cast speed, uh, physical critical chance and things like that. Uh, there's going to be uh, some properties which are specific to items. So this is, for instance, uh, base attack speed. So you can have a weapon uh, with a particular base attack speed. And depending on your character's dexterity, uh, you might increase your attack speed, which is you know going to be a multiplier essentially. Uh, onto the base attack speed, right? So that's how I've kind of uh, modeled uh, the stats system at this point. So as you can see, uh, we're gonna have base stats, which will directly impact our derived stats. You can also have item effects, which will merge with the derived stats. Um, and in the near future, I'm also gonna have certain skills, buffs and things like that, which will um, have certain status effects, which again uh, will be merged to create our derived stats. So this is a, essentially a, a basic representation of how we're gonna use our stat system here. And as you can see, we have here the actor ID. So the actor ID will represent the player's name or you know the mob ID, and that's how we associate particular stats to a given actor. Uh, we also have attribute points. So the attribute points will be specific to players only. So whenever you're gonna level up, we're gonna add a couple of attribute points. It could be one, it could be five, uh, whatever you like here. And we'll use those to increase our base stats. So this will happen through uh, UI. So this will happen through Unreal Engine. So one of the things that we also need to bear in mind is whenever we equip items, we're going to essentially change some of the uh, stats that are on the items, right? So the item effects. So you can see that when I have uh, equip item, part of my equip item service, um, I'm going to have this function to um, 
update character item stats. So what this will do is basically it will go through all of the equipped items that the character has and it will uh, sum up uh, all of the derived stats from them. So uh, the model for equipped items includes things like, well, your character name, uh, the item instance and the category that the item falls into, you know, for instance, helm, chest, boots, etc. Uh, the key thing here is the item instance which actually has um, the item model and part of the item model you have this item effects so the item effects are in the same um, they have the same properties of the derived stats so we know it's safe to merge whenever that happens and um, so that's basically what we have we, we have this map string double uh, and that's item effects and inside uh, so this equip service uh, like I say, we've got these effects here. So we're going to be merging the effects of all of the items. Uh, so you can see we've got stats merge left. So we basically merge those effects. And then we ask the stat service to update the item stats. So inside here, uh, we fetch the player. Uh, and then we're going to be setting the item effects uh, to the ones that we've just evaluated. And we ask it to recalculate the derived stats. So whenever we recalculate the derived stats, we don't actually modify the status effect or the item effect because we assume the other services, they're responsible for those uh, parameters. So we will only um, evaluate the derived stats on this uh, re recalculation. Okay, so perhaps what we'll do is uh, we'll go for a demo in Postman. So we're going to see the flow of data um, as, you know, it basically changes. Um, so we're going to create a couple of items. So I've already created the um, these base items. So you can see I've created a sword, which is a weapon. It has a base attack speed. It has base damage. Uh, and it will increase these three properties for the player. So it will increase the player's max HP attack speed and physical application so essentially these will act as buffs whenever you equip them it basically enhances your player uh, so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and create this item so i'm going to spawn this item in the world uh, and what i'll do actually i'll create a new character so i'll create uh, api test character three um, so I'll just remove this breakpoint and um, so yeah you can see it's created him what what it will do is it will also initialize the stats for this character and um, yeah what i'll do is i'll fetch that so i already prepared api test 3 i'm going to fetch stats first so you can see when i fetch the stats uh, this is what we'll use uh, to initialize um, unreal engine client so whenever you know you log in and stuff it will populate all of these things um, on the action bar and things like that. So you can see my base stats are 15 uh, when the character is created. My max HP is 250, which is essentially 100 plus 15 multiplied by 10. Uh, so you can see that's working as expected. And uh, what I will do is now I'm going to uh, pick up the item that I dropped. So I copied the uh, item instance ID earlier. So uh, when I pick up the item, it will add it to my inventory. So you can see it's here. I will go ahead and now equip this item. So equip, oops. Uh, so the item instance is the same, and this is the item I've just picked up. Um, so when I equip the item, I'm going to get three um, updates. So one of them is add equip item. So this tells Unreal Engine to say, you know, equip this item. This will change the icon in the inventory. Uh, you will want to process the mesh. So for example, editing your uh, player's mesh based on the equipped items and things like that. It will also update my inventory. So this item should technically no longer be in my inventory because it's equipped. Um, so there's m multiple ways of dealing with that. I could, for instance, just delete the item out of the inventory uh, because it exists in a different entity right now. And um, I also get myself the stats update. So by equipping this item, I've modified these parameters. So you can see that my max HP went from 250 to 350. So you can see that it's added that 100 HP to my character and likewise with all of the other properties it's gone ahead and modified them 
Uh, it doesn't give me a whole state of the character stats. Uh, this is really to say, save a bit on the bandwidth. So this is um, just giving me the delta, giving me the things that's, that have changed. Uh, so that was uh, the design uh, dis design decision um, with the server. And likewise, if I go ahead and unequip this item, uh, it will again just uh, give me the things that have changed. So I'm going to re remove this equip item. Uh, it will provide me an inventory update. So it now has gone back into my inventory. And it will also give me the stats update for the things that have changed. Okay, so um, let's probably have a quick look at this in Unreal Engine because this has um, a base implementation already. So this will be a sneak peek into the next video, essentially. Okay, so let's go ahead with a quick demo in Unreal Engine. So what, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to log into one of my test characters and I'll also create another character in the background. So someone dying so test char2 and um, I'll log into this character here as well so what I'll do is I'll run closer to where the other character is and um, yeah you can see that basically by default uh, I've only got 100 HP um, so with this character I've got the item equipped if I unequip it my max HP goes down, uh, my current HP doesn't change, so that's why you can see it, it acting like that. I go ahead and drop one of these items, which I'm going to pick up with this character instead now, so I'll click P, and if I double click this item, it equips this item, which again changes my max HP, not my current one, and um, there we have it. So now I'm able to um, pick up items, I'm able to equip items, uh, bear in mind, I'm not changing my character mesh yet, so this will be uh, part of a different video as well. Uh, when I equip items, I'm also modifying my stats. Um, so again, there's no uh, background workers for increasing my HP with re regeneration, things like that. Uh, that will come soon though. And soon we can also start implementing some combat ability, right? Because now we've got some equipped items. Uh, we also have a very basic stat system, so it's time, you know, to start using it, I guess. Um, so that's it for this video. In the next one, I'm going to be showing how I've got this all working together. So, uh, yeah, do check that out, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.